How's it going everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon and welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. Last episode, we started Clara's beautiful route, her beautiful quest, uh, you know, erupting from the ground and immediately lying to every person that gives her a chance. You know, like, uh, Katarina, who trusts her absolutely implicitly and immediately was like, I have an evil sister that does evil things. Complete and utter bullshit. Isn't that great? Uh, and... You know, we all we also just went and murdered a child because there was a fight here. But you know, Clara just needs to kill a few children. It just has to happen. I'm sorry if I feel if I'm a little impatient right now. God damn it! God fucking damn it! Damn it! Shadow play, not recording my shit, really bothers me. Anyway, I've played a good amount of this day. Uh, what we're, what we're up to now is we're gonna go talk to Katarina about Georgi, so that we can hopefully get a. Stop doing that. Hopefully, we can get a secret that uh, we can tell Georgi and hypnotize him a bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I feel that you were sent to us by destiny itself. Alexander has tasked me with finding out the truth about Simon's death from Georgi. It makes me feel uneasy. But why would he give you so difficult a task, my child? He is well aware that the Canes, blinded by fury, are, work are looking for the mysterious man-eater who supposedly murdered Simon. In their anger... They are missing the obvious, but such is that family's way. Even our protection may be of no use. The truth will speak for itself. They won't dare hurt me. I suppose. I'm under the protection of a power that will make any ruler's army beat a retreat. Literally, both answers are, I'm either, I'm a fucking pimp, I guess, or I'm a fucking pimp, and nothing's gonna stop me. It, it's, it's so cool. Uh, I'm a fucking badass. Perhaps. But Georgi will never speak to you, will he? Or do you wield such power over people that you can make him talk? No, I have no such power. But cunning will become the solution where power can't. If you help, if you help me, I can make him answer questions. And how will you find out the truth? How will you make him reveal it? I would call a person by their real name twice and say the words such and such. I know of I know of you. This will you agree to touch me? To brave the depths? To answer my questions candidly and without prejudice? The answer is yes, then it's done. Why, I know if you this. It feels like a part of the phrase is omitted. It is. You really have to know a secret about the person, which it would stun them to hear. But the secret must be true, of course. For example, you can say, Anna, oh Anna, I know of you this. You kidnapped a child. How does she know that? How does she know that? That's... <laughs> Strange. Strange. What is that supposed to mean? Why did you say that? It's just an example. Uh, do you know any secrets concerning Georgi Kane? Yes, I, I will teach you. First of all, call him Judge. Do not call him Georgi at first. The Canes are clever, and he may immediately become suspicious. If you want to stun him with a secret, try to say, You never loved Simon, and you were no twin of his. He will be taken aback. Thank you. Thank you! But it is not of Georgi that you should be wary. I feel that the Canes' plot was conceived in a different mind. It all comes from Maria. I was about to challenge my position of a mistress, but do not even think of approaching her yet. She is very dangerous. Your formula will not work on someone who has a mistress's abilities. All right. Burp. I will follow your advice. All righty. Off to good old Georgi. The Crucible. The residence of the Gains. For some reason, thinking of this place, I begin to shudder. My feelings wander between fear and anger. Georgi is here. Yogi is here. Getting down, girl. Yogi is there. So we're gonna go talk to Yogi, and I forget exactly why. Katarina wants to test my powers as well, but how can she? This is perhaps the most important thing. The terrifying ordeal lies ahead of me. I will have to show my power to Yogi Kane, the brother of Simon, who was murdered by someone unknown. I will get Yogi's consent, question him in a way that I alone can question people, and the truth will reveal itself. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're trying to find out how Simon died, correct? Is is that... Because these are really poor notes. I got this quest from Sabarov, who was like, I need you to go talk to Georgi for some reason. that I, I don't entirely remember now, which is a, which is a shame. But um, we're, 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 we'll figure it out. It's gonna be fine. And I'm sorry if my uh, voice ever sounds a little strained. Uh, I just kind of have this, like, tonsillitis thing going on. It's, it's not great. Uh, just sort of hurts to talk too much, so sometimes I might be a little strained, and I am sorry about that. Something we really gotta do is rob houses. 
We got so much food last night. Hey, wait a minute. I have to look at all of you. No, no indeed. Goodbye. But I need to rob houses because I got freaking bank for food last night. Look at that. Look at that. That is three pieces of meat and a bread. I, I think I had a piece of meat and a milk to start with, but it doesn't matter. Uh, did you catch the unseen cat? I thought that was for the bachelor. I invited the bachelor to have a look at the unseen cat. I know he won't come. He doesn't seem to understand us at all. Is it true that he's very smart? Intelligence is relative. Often the voice of reason tangles the ways of fate, whereas the heart always leads you down the right path. That big city doctor will do a lot of damage. He can't see past his nose without a microscope. You're better off not talking to him at all. Hmm. Well, the heart always leads you down the right path. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that nice? You know, tell that to Artemy in this route when I kick his ass and, you know, kill his bound. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill his bound, alright? I'm even gonna try my absolute hardest to save everyone's bound, if I possibly can. I think I only need to save one other character's bound, too, by the way. I don't think I have to save, uh, everyone, because that seems a little r ridiculous. I'd need, like, 24 schmouters or panacea. No, <laughs> not gonna happen. Alright, it's housebreaking time. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Give me that big money. That big fish. I just want fish in my mouth. Huh? Where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen, losers? Not the kitchen. Just not the kitchen, ma'am. Did you know that? God damn it with the unseen cat. Who cares? Hi. You see nothing. Good for you. I picked up a fish, and then I uh, made the mistake of trying to fucking sing with my horrible, horrible throat. Like, being how it is. And that was a decision best left on the on the on the drawing board get the fuck out of my way thanks chief yeah you just you're just fixing it up yeah that makes sense and looks a uh, looks a little shitty this house sucks ass there is nothing jesus christ one fish one fish to your name you know i mean it's better than most things better than most things but still fuck you anything in the kitchen oh this is what i'm talking about oh no you know it's fine. It's okay. You know, it's what I'm talking about, but I could have talked about it for a lot longer if you had a lot more, you know? Have you ever considered that? Stocking up on food so Clara has something to talk about at the weekend goddamn back-to-work party? No. No one ever thinks about Clara or her back-to-work parties. What time is it? 10.42? Very good. We're right on schedule. I want to get to Georgi's around, uh, 11, I believe. There is nothing. There's, like, needles in, like, a ring is what I have found in the goddamn drawers of this house. It is the worst. They don't have shit. Oh, God, don't look at me like that. I think these ladies' faces are some of the scariest ones in the game. They just look horrifying. I am not a fan. Don't look at me. Yeah, couldn't splurge on the, uh, on the third floor ba- uh, on the third floor kitchen, eh? No? All right. That's cool. It's not like that would have helped Clara immensely or anything. Why doesn't everyone just build their house so, you know, it helped Clara? That, that, that That's what the homeowners association is now. It's just Clara in every single chair saying, Hi, your house doesn't have enough Clara in it. Inspection. Yeah, uh, you got you got good Clara levels. I mean, I'm just going to have to check. Just going to have to scan everyone in the house. Oh, I see you have a knife here, ma'am. You, you, that's, uh, that's some good Clara levels, but... I'm gonna have to take that for, uh, just for processing. Just, uh, you'll, you'll definitely get it back. Don't worry. Oh. Oh, I can't use the knife because I am a little girl. Great. That's awesome. I love that idea. It's also 11, which is also awesome. Hi, dickhead. Uh, you're an idiot. Oh, oh, yeah, good. But yeah, yeah, notice that. Get, get. Get up the- get up the fucking stairs, Clara. Come on, stop doing so much crack for once in your life. More meat. Just give me all the meat. Yeah, and what are you gonna do about it, kid? Nothing. I'm gonna sit around and be a douche. God, your face is ugly. I hate you. Oh. Good. Yeah, that room. That- that's my favorite room. That's definitely not the torture room. I mean, that's a crazy notion. <gasps> Oh shit! Oh god, I thought you wouldn't notice! Get- get out of the way, kid! God damn it! I'm faster than you, sir! I'm a little kid! Got little kid legs! Yeah, I can fall down the stairs like a freaking gangster! What can you do? Oh god, he goes down the stairs pretty fast. Not gonna lie, he can- he can do many things. It's also 11.20, uh... Just- just 20 minutes off schedule, what's wrong with that? Just gonna see, Georgi, I just needed to get a few, uh, other things. Like some gloves. You can keep those off for now. Also, I learned something. Uh, durability doesn't affect price at all. So may maybe I should have just put them on. But, uh, again, I don't really know what actually degrades them. I don't know if it's like 
exclusively contact with infected surfaces that degrades them, or if it's just the contact with every surface, which is, uh, what I assume, Mr. Gyogi. I have a heartache. Really? Well, that's a shame. I mean, your brother died. Seems, uh, seems fitting. What's this now? He is an unexpected visitor indeed. I can't believe what I'm seeing. So much anguish in your eyes. So much pain. Uh, my name is Clara. I just wanted to, uh... So much anguish in your eyes. So much pain. You do look like a regular human being from the outside. I'd like to help. If my help is needed here, of course, I can work miracles. I'm not who you're looking for. See, I've even come to you of my own accord. Uh, I'd like to help, quote unquote. It's not uncommon around here. Do you know that, that a person greatly resembling you in appearance is wanted for murder committed by supernatural means? I do, but don't be in a hurry to call the guards. I'm not guilty, and there's proof of that. So it must be my twin sister. I followed her into this town. Hopefully, Vlad will call Ripper's bluff. Yeah? The murderer claims to be Burak's son. <laughs> the bluff. Imagine if the Canes had it their way, right? And they could execute Artemy on the spot. Wouldn't they feel like the biggest bunch of goddamn chuckle fucks on Earth anyway? I must say, if it were up to me, I'd have had you executed without further ado. You owe your life to the Bachelor, in a way, for he told us that although there is little doubt that left that you are a changeling, spawned by the step, the shape you assumed when you visited upon him was unexpectedly uncharacteristic of any demon he knows of. What are you talking about? You laid your hands on a mortally wounded man and brought him back to life, calling on the holy powers to bear witness. Your demeanor was, so they say, like that of a miracle worker, or even a saint of sorts. So... I can only bring goodness into the world, such as my nature. I, I can work miracles. It's been attested. Uh, hmm. I I'm badass or I'm badass. Uh, I only bring goodness into the world, such as my nature. All the same, I don't believe you. Besides, you claim to have an evil twin. So which one of you two is the real one, and which is the changeling? I've done the honest thing and come before you, so you can see for yourself. Why have you come to me? Fearsome child. Posing as a miracle worker. I wanted to ask you about Simon, the late ruler. Uh, I wanted to tell you something about your brother Simon. If that's so, very well. I will lend you my ear, but no sooner than you have met Maria, my niece. Let her look at you with her own eyes and tell me who you are and how I should treat anything you tell me. I won't go. All right, where will I find her? Right back there. Isn't that nifty? Here lives the fearsome Maria Cana. Can't avoid seeing her now. Why did I ever come to this place? Hmm. What is Clara so scared of? I don't entirely know, actually. But, something. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, I guess that she's a liar. That she's a lying liar and a lying fake who is not the messenger, or not the angel, or whatever. Just total bullshitter. I guess that's uh, her fear there. But, you know... Come on, Clara. Give yourself some credit. You're like, you're a smart gal. You're a smart gal. <laughs> I was gonna say a smart guy, but, you know, not a guy. Or not in anything. I mean, she seems like more or less a monster if she's gonna be anything, but I am saying she. God, 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 God damn it. Anywho, I don't know if you guys can notice, but uh, the colors are like so much better now. Like, I, I, I went into my monitor settings and I realized that I had my fucking RGB on to limited. For, for everything. For everything on my goddamn computer. I'm just an idiot. I'm just a goddamn idiot. Oh, Maria. How are you? I see you have a monopoly on the black lights. It's incredible. Uh, why can't I move on my own? <laughs> Good question. I can. Because I'm a pimp. An awesome person. The true mistress. Mic drop. Your face looks familiar. We've never met before. Perhaps you've seen my sister. <laughs> I love this. We look exactly like each other. I know who you are. I just can't quite get a grasp of your essence. But people have a soul. You have a black pit. What name have you chosen for yourself? Why are you saying such hurtful things? What have I ever done to you? I've chosen the name Clara. Same as my sisters. <laughs> what have I ever done to you? Great souls are not those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common but those only who have greater designs. Okay, smell your own farts some more. In a big old bag, okay? Because that's what all that is. Fart sniffing. What is it? Your uncle, Georgi, has sent me to you. 
so that you could take a look at me and say what you think about me. Georgie advised me to seek your counsel, Maria, on whether I'm worthy of asking him questions. Uh, take a look at me and say what you think about me. Why should I? He wants to know how, uh, dangerous my supernatural, abil supernatural abilities are. I have no idea. I'm just trying to do as the proverbial Romans do. <laughs> nice. Uh, he wants to know how dangerous my supernatural abilities are. Your abilities. <laughs> Fine, sort of a mistress. Well, let me look at you then. Let me listen to you carefully. What is he getting so nervous about? I don't know. You demanded that I be examined by you. You're a cheerful, cheerful girl, aren't you, Maria? Let's have a good laugh together, huh? <laughs> huh? I suppose I was too quick to laugh at you. <laughs> Let me see. That is the most awkward response in the history of mankind. You, you, you gotta choose that one. You seem as though you were two people. You are a walking lie. But you shouldn't be killed yet. Everything depends on how this day ends. I'll tell them... I'll have them tell Uncle to talk to you. Let him answer your questions. I'll have them tell Uncle. What is a mistress? What can they do? Can they commune with the powers that be? I... I don't know, but goodbye, Maria. Goodbye, you asshole. I... It's, you're not an asshole. It's, uh, that, was, that was surprisingly, like, good. What, what do you gotta say about that one, Clara? The road to Georgi's desolate heart lies through Maria's bedroom. Why is my own heart beating so hard? As if Maria will see through me. Discover something I myself have no awareness of. So scary. What was it, for goodness sake? I fail to understand something, and my ineptitude leads me right into their trap. Was it her that instilled such terror in me? Away with the doubts! Jorky is waiting. Yeah, okay. Well, you can tell uh, Clara's definitely a child, because she doesn't know how to take goddamn notes. She's literally just, like, using this like a diary, which I actually kind of love. Like, it's not even, like, goals, really, in, like, a bullet point. It's just, like, how she feels about things happening. It's neat. Okie dokie, I got permission, you old bastard. You can feel you're a menace, child. Can you? You're not like us. I mean, no. Who is like you? Okay, you can say that to anybody. So, my dear guest, Maria wishes to say that I have nothing to say. <laughs> what? Uh, Maria wishes to say that Maria has already said all that she wished to say. Don't be surprised. You wanted to ask me something, did you not? Feel free to ask. Georgi, oh, Georgi, I know of you this. You didn't like Simon, and you were no twin of his. Will you agree to touch me? To brave the depths? To answer my questions candidly, and without prejudice? Judge, you had no love for Simon, and you were no brother to him. Will you agree to answer my questions? Will you plunge into the darkness? Will you speak honestly, and without guile? That won't work, but she also said not to call him Georgi immediately. Right? Fuck? Ask away. Do you know... Who murdered Simon? No. Are you sure he was murdered? Deep inside, you know he wasn't murdered by anyone. Don't you? Yes. What's more, you're sure of it, right? No. Why have you ordered everyone to search for the murderer? Do you believe that I'm not the murderer? Why have you ordered everyone to... Uh... Do you believe that I'm not the murderer? No. Why do you suppose I'd kill him? No human being could have killed Simon. He was killed by a creature of supernatural powers. And you want to know what the creature looks like. Then you kill them at once if you catch them. No. I want to know what power it yields. And now answer my final question. Will any of the Canes benefit from this death? What are you going to do now? Uh, will any of the Canes benefit from this death? No. None of us would be able to advance and sustain the town in, any w in the way Simon did. And if his death was not a tragic accident, but the ruling of some remorseless law, it would mean that our family's entire cause has been condemned. The town will perish. That's enough. There's nothing more that I wish to know. Sleep. Poor old man. Let him see. Sleep. Soothe him at least a little. <laughs> Is he asleep? Tell me what no. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, Georgi, am I right? My heart is beating something horrible. How could something this terrifying ever happen? Go back for the rod to the rod now. Something terrifying? What? What exactly happened? I mean, I 
I, I, <laughs> I honestly have no idea what we actually gained from that exercise. It was just like, hey, Georgi, do you think someone murdered him? No, D but, but you think someone, but you don't, <laughs> I don't know, stupid, K kind of a waste of time. Like, wh why am I even asking these questions? Like, the Canes don't believe that Simon was murdered by a human, but he thought they think that he's murdered by a monster. Which we already knew because they sent the entire town to look for a monster. I I don't understand the exercise. I don't understand the point, but you know what? We're going back to Savvy and it will be fantastic. This was the Schmouter house, right? I don't think so. I, I, I mean, I think it was. I just... I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters that I know where the house is. Because I'm... It's just not... It's just not how it is. Uh, perhaps it is. I... I don't know, like, the, the whole, like, parallel universe, like, things still happen that happened and other routes happen in all of the routes, it, it's inconsistent. It, it seems a bit inconsistent about what exactly, uh, you know, happens. Like, it does, does Daniel, I, I know he's gonna investigate the Schmouters, because Katarina told me that in one of her voice lines, but when? And, 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 and is it gonna be in the same spot? Like, it does, I don't know. It's ridiculous. You gotta wonder what Mark thinks of all this. I mean, you gotta wonder what the Mark man thinks of all this. Hey, Mark, what's up? Are we gonna be best friends? Because that would be kind of hilarious. Only knowing our fortune in advance could we predict our conduct. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. You're not allowed in here, Clever. You're an imposter. And a changeling. Not allowed? Why? Imposter? Changeling? What? Not allowed? Why? You're against the world. The rules. I don't want you visiting the theater. No one can prohibit me from entering. I may be useful to you yet. No one can prohibit from me entering. We find very few ungrateful people when we are able to confer favors. I guess... I guess so. Shut up, Mark. Alright, I'm... I'm a little baffled by this conversation. You're bothering me. I want to be alone. Bothering you? That's odd. I'm just gonna rest here a little. <laughs> Bothering you? That's odd. What? Huh. So Mark didn't even plan for me. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. She- Clara is like a fuck-up. A major fuck-up in this whole story. This absolute outlier, why the fuck is she even here kind of thing. But she's gonna win. <laughs> like- because we are controlling her, now she is hyper important. Because if she wasn't, then what What the fuck am I playing? Huh? Hobo girl simulator? I mean, I guess so, but <laughs> it's interesting. It's very interesting. What is Clara's role? Does she have one? Like, I, I think we just create a role for Clara. And if we can do that for Clara, why couldn't we do it for Aspity? Why couldn't we do it for... This douchebag, right here, Gary, you know, Gary, the most important guy in the world, he can heal with his touch. I mean, because Clara can literally heal with her touch, but why? Why exactly? It seems, it seems to me, little fuck, you know, you guys have something to do with it. Just saying, sounds like some things powers that be might uh, be fucking with, but why would they go against Mark for no reason? Mark, Mark doesn't... Odd. It's all odd. There's too many goddamn layers to this story, but that is why it is so beautiful. You could talk about it for fucking eons and still not know every single thing that happens in this game. And I think that's... Oh. I'm gonna try and tell uh, Katarina that I talked to Maria. That seems like a pretty okay idea. Hi! Now look here. Since you are holding the threads of life in your wondrous hands, I'm going to entrust you with several people. They are all wicked people. Their souls are as black as soot. Each one of them is either an avowed evildoer or hiding a sinister secret. You must take care of them. I don't understand. Taking care of evildoers? Of course I will take care of them. After all, who is more in need of care than those rejected by everyone? They get their own chance to serve a good cause too. Won't they? Uh, I don't really understand taking care of evildoers. If you were a kind angel, a holy miracle worker sent to us from heaven, who else but you could discern some virtue inside their lost souls? Convert them, redeem them, forgive them. But that is not the reason I am asking you to take care of them. There are many in our town who need to be purified. There are many worse villains than these. 
And yet those ones are special. Special to you, Clara. Why? Trust me, I know. I can see into the future. The sinners who I will now name will be of use to you in due time. In what way, I know not. But I know that they will be. The likelihood is far too great. Er, er, fairly great. So make sure that they live, unless you should yourself see it more fit that they die. Is this agreed? Agreed. If I'm able to do it, that is. Yes, I'll grant life to those who deserve to live. And I'll be the doom of those who must die. Uh, agreed, if I'm able to do it, that is. And now hear me. All that I have told you is between you and I alone. Don't say a word about anything. Most importantly, keep it away from my husband. I thought you had no secrets from each other. He is not his own master. He is a ruler, a man of duty. Two men are living inside of him. It will drive him insane to find out that I have charged you with taking care of those whose duty dictates that he should suspect, indict, and execute. He trusts my premonitions too much. But what am I to do then? I want to serve both of you equally. But what am I to do then? You can never misstep. For every action you take is governed by supreme justice. Decide as your nature tells you. Listen to your feelings. I can't promise you anything, but I'll be mindful of your request. I have a look at them. <laughs> Reuben, he's like scum of the earth, eh? Whatever happens, these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine. They may as well hold the keys to my victory in their hands. Aspidy! Fuck yeah! I, <laughs> I love having Aspidy. Yulia, huh? I guess so. Hmm. Whoa. Interesting. So, so when they told me that the final trial, uh, I got a comment that was like, uh, basically, Clara allows you to take one of her bound uh, so you can finish the final trial of the abattoir. I thought that it was Lara, Anna, or Yulia because they're all brought down there into like the cavern. But I actually murdered the abattoir. The foreman. Oh, Yoon. That is fucking wild. What? Uh-uh. No. No. This, no. No. This town's gonna be shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. I am not a fan of my bound. I am worried. You wanna save Oh, Yoon? You want oh Yoon for the future? Your future is not cool, bro. Yeah, just just putting that out there. If you're trying to save oh Yoon, no, no, no. You've lost me, Clara. I mean, still a pimp, but shitty bound. That's Sup, okay, homie? I'll make it. I'm made of wood. <laughs> you're made of wood. That right. This guy's not made of wood. I talked to Georgi. He answered my questions. Have you heard the news about the plague already? The bachelor has found the real murderer. An epidemic is spreading in the town. I feel the Canes will not be happy with this turn of events. So tell me one thing. Did Georgi know what his brother and patron died of? No. He's convinced that no natural cause could have possibly ended his brother's life. He's sure there's a murderer, however in de indirect their methods may be. Who knows? Everything points to it. <laughs> Everything points to what? I mean, he said, what did he die of? Anyway, uh... He's convinced someone must have killed him. I see. Sounds typical of him. Here's what all of it means. I'm gonna talk to the Bachelor. Now that the murderer has been found, no one will dare continue the search for the Maneater. For a while. But the Canes will not abandon their version so easily. And there's another danger. The mob. A danger to whom? To you, Clara. Or, more specifically, to your sister. The epidemic does begin, and I see nothing that could prevent that. The search for Simon's killer will soon, well, very soon, turn into a search for the one who caused the outbreak. If I remember correctly, you said that your sister is still somewhere still somewhere in the town. I suppose she is. Maybe she is. Maybe she isn't. I suppose she is. And she is indeed your twin. Are you impossible to tell apart? Yes. That's how it truly is. It is possible. It is not. Is it not? Sorry, I got very confused there. It is possible, is it not, that she was the one who brought the disease into our town? Would you like to look for her? I'll devote all of my time to this. You mean all of your spare time. Do you not realize how precarious your position is still? You've been cleared in my eyes, but people, both the commoners and the bound, will require other evidence. The bound, too? What more evidence do they need? And how much of it? 
Not miracles, I hope. I can't be commissioned to perform one. It's a power bestowed to me from above. What more evidence do they need? And how much of it? You shall see. Tonight, Katarina and I are going to talk about you. Tomorrow, we shall state our will to you. And if everything turns out well, tomorrow, you may already be helping me restore justice and mete out retribution. Wait, uh, the commoners and the bound. Oh, the bound is just the name for all of the important characters then. But you have your own bound. Interesting. Interesting. So they're more bound together, and you have sets of the bound. Interesting. Just interesting wording. What destiny Katarina foresees for you, I cannot tell. In the meantime, rest. Take the small bedroom, upstairs. See you tomorrow. I'm so glad it was you who gave me shelter. You'll see how it will pay off in the future. Good night to you, an unquiet one though it may be. Reputation up. Isn't that nice? Wow. And it actually is like time for me to sleep. 12.30, huh? Is it noon, or is it... Yeah, it must be noon. Yeah. I mean, it's not midnight. <laughs> That's for sure. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm already exhausted at noon 30. That's odd. Damn it. Uh, I wish I used my other... Uh... Oh, I did use my other lockpick. Nicely done. Dried meat and a bread. Yes, indeedy do. Yes, indeedy do. And... Save. What's our health? Sorry, I paused there. I was trying to look for my this menu. I suck at buttons. Uh, health is fine. Yeah, let's just sleep for like six hours. Damn, six hours and then you can get my exhaustion all the way gone. That's pretty wild. Okay, well, uh, sleep for another like two hours then. Beautiful. There we go. I now officially have fucking nothing to do. Amazing. It is as if a trout fell off his eyes. However humble I am, it is impossible not to witness the brilliance of the power that marks me. I am a healer, well versed in the mysteries of the human heart. Almost a prophet, as every sign confirms. What am I to do with this gift? Preach to the choir, girl. I mean, shit. Are, are you the harbinger? Or are you, you know, the prophet? Like... I love this. I love this so much that Clara has no fucking clue what she is either. Because, like... It just so perfectly already seats you where you are with Clara. In your understanding, you have no fucking idea. But you have this vague idea. And that's exactly how Clara feels. It's just top notch. Just beautiful. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end that episode of Pathologic Classic HD here. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want in the world. And have an amazing day. I'm me. You're you. But I've got to go. So, peace out. <laughs>